my love bugs what's up what's going on so today for like the third time we're gonna be doing the vlogger tag i am a vlogger i was tagged initially on my channel that um is gone i i got tagged by um who was it jamila tv and then i saw that for its rocks had done it and I don't know if they know that my channel is going. I tried to contact them just the other day to let them know. So if you guys are able to see them, you know, here on social network, then definitely let them know that my channel is gone. And I'm starting from the ground up, starting from the bottom. Now we're here. And um, I'm, I mean, I see the subscribers are coming in. It's nothing compared to what I had before, but we are doing it, honey. And we are not going to stop, you know? We are going to keep on doing it. And like I said, this is the third time. And I feel like the last one that I did, it was a little bit bitter because everything had just happened. But now I'm back to me. I'm back to vibrant some more. And I'm just happy to be back at the end of the day. So I'm we're going to go ahead and get into this vlog tag. All right, y'all? And, um... It was something else that I wanted to say, but I can't remember, so whatever. If it comes back, then it comes back. If not, then oh well. <laughs> so, um, here goes. The What is your YouTube name? My YouTube name is Some More Love Real TV. That's always going to be the name. Before, it was just the link. Now, it's actually the link. So, I'm actually, regardless of whatever... I'm actually happy that I'm starting over because now I have two amazing channels and like I said, it's Some More Love Real TV is now the actual link so you just click on it and you get to me. So that's awesome. Um, what type of channel do you have? This is an entertainment channel. I don't know how last time I had it saying entertainment. I gotta find out where in the settings I can put it as entertainment so that people know this is an entertainment channel. But regardless, this is an entertainment type of channel because other channel categories like how-tos and stuff, it didn't really make sense for this to be called that. Uh, how long have you been vlogging? I've been vlogging since 2011. But on this channel, I guess we can say we just started this year, right? We just started like last week. So I'm a brand new vlogger, even though I'm a veteran. Um, what camera do you use? I currently use my iPhone, well, not iPhone, my iPod 5. And depending on if it's a Bad Girls Club, I'll do my Canon T3i. Um... Well, the camera's over there. You don't really need to see it. But that's that's the one that I use when I actually... Well, it's right here because I'm going to be doing another video for my other channel. Uh, this is the one that I use. This is, my, this is my baby. I use that one whenever I'm doing my Baggers Club because the resolution is so awesome. And I'm able to use my editing software that I have on my computer with it. Okay, your editing software. That goes right into the editing software. I should know these questions since I've done it so many times, but I kind of don't. I'm just kind of winging it right along. I use iMovie for the iPod, and I use, um, what's that one called? Movie Serif Plus, which is from the UK. I've seen a UK vlogger using it. It was a very good price, under $100. So I was like, yes, I'm going to get that. But I definitely want to step my game up and get, like, Final Cut Pro or something like that for my beauty fashion channel. So we about to step the game up soon, either that or something else. But I, I kind of want a new computer. I just want to start fresh with everything. How do you feel about public vlogging? I really don't have any problem with it. I'm getting more accustomed to it. I haven't really done it that much. I do like events and stuff, and I, I notice, especially when I've been using my monopod, which is this right here, and I put my iPod right here, and I'm talking on it. A lot of people, they will go behind me. They try to, like, pop up and do little funny things, and I can see them because my iPod, of course, the front is a front-facing camera. You see everything, or they might try to, if I'm doing like a scene, they'll try to like hop in and stuff like that or they'll be like, hey, what's up? You know, doing all kind of weird and funky stuff. So I, I'm getting more used to it. I'm getting more accustomed to like blanking out the people. And when I did a uh, commentary for the Skinny NYC, we were like outside. I had the microphone, I had the professional camera and everything else. So and that felt like second nature to me. So I would really like to do more things like that. I'm going to be working with them soon. So, um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Uh, what else? Best thing about vlogging. The best thing about vlogging, and I can say this from the bottom of my heart, is that it helps me to escape the realities of the real world. Like, 
you know, relationships that help me to escape that, people that might be hurting me, people that may be doubting me, you know, all kinds of craziness that's outside, like just the harsh realities of the world. It's kind of like a place where I can come and I can talk, I can vent. I don't have many friends, so I come on here to talk to whoever's watching and just kind of get feedback and get people to really have good conversations with. And, um, you know, talk about things that I may not be able to talk to family about and just perhaps give advice. Sometimes I feel like family or younger siblings or whatever, they don't really necessarily hear the things that I tend to say. Or because it's family, they're just like, oh, okay, you know. But if I can help someone else somewhere by things that I say, maybe in a recap or maybe like just talking real talk, which I really want to do more of those coming up soon, like inspirational types of things, then I feel like I'm doing something good. And everything that I've done, all my work, my going to sleep at 2 a.m. and waking up at 6 a.m. in order to go to work, you know, and take my son to school, I think that those things are no longer in vain and it means something to someone. You know, I see people that actually are like, yo, where's your recap? Or um, I'm looking forward to it or things like that. And you know, from the bottom, from the bottom of my heart, and I'm not going to fucking be a little bitch about this is a bitch baby like they said on scandal i'm not gonna be a fucking bitch baby but you know it just it just touches me and it means the the world to me and you know a lot of people they don't give two craps about that but it means a lot to me you know what i'm saying all right so let's get out of all this mushy crap let's get back into this all right so what is the worst thing about it the worst thing about it is that there's not that much security people can say whatever they want they control you they can try to get under your skin and i'm really gonna start where i don't really comment back like even if i want to say something sassy or something i'm just gonna either delete the comment be in the person or i'm not even gonna get into it I, I don't feel like you know i've learned a lot from having a successful channel and since i've learned a lot i know things that i no longer want to do as well so commenting back I see is not really the best thing to do. I see a lot of very successful channels. I mean, it may or may not be the best thing, but they don't comment back. I don't even think a lot of them read the comments, but those are the people that a lot of people like for some reason. So that's more of what I'm going to do. Unless it's like a question that I see, a genuine question, I'm going to always read the comments. That's not something I'm not going to do, regardless of how it's going to make me feel. But, um... I always, I'm not going to comment back as much as I used to make sure, like, I comment back to each and every, I just feel like it's not necessary, not for each and every comment, um, especially not the nasty ones, and um, what else is the worst, like I said, there's no security, if you get shut down, there's nobody to really talk to or anything like that, and um, those are pretty much, like, the worst things that I can say, I mean, and you don't really make a lot of money. I remember somebody the other day, I told her, well, I put up, you know, I'm going to take a mental break and everything. And, you know, I thank you for telling me that my videos are awesome. That was super great. I think her name was Laquita, Laquisha or something like that. But then she said, you know, the money is good, but you, you definitely need to chill sometimes. But I love your videos. And, yeah, you know, you do definitely need to just rest, relax, and get that mental break so you can just, like, be good, you know? You don't want to burn yourself out. But it, I don't do it for the money, to be honest. I mean, the money tends to help, when, I, but only when I get viral videos. I, I don't really, and I never really got that much money. The only time, like I said, when it was like a really good video that I did where it was hundreds of thousands of people, that was like ka-ching, ka-ching. And that's what I tried to do, like, giveaways or stuff like that. There was one time I did a giveaway because of that. I was going to do another giveaway in December, but... Everything kind of foiled, so we ain't gonna be doing that for anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can help me so we can get this channel back on and popping, but right now it's not gonna happen. But I seen that somebody else said I shouldn't do things like that. So, I mean, if you guys don't really like it, it's like, why spend money, right? Because I'm a cheapo. I just like to give back to people. That's my whole thing. And, you know, it could be good, it could be bad. Sometimes it makes me get a loss, but I don't mind as long as there are people that are supporting me. Like, I'm all about support. Just like how when, um, you know, someone else, you know, I'm just all about support. I'm not going to get into that. All right. So do family and friends like being part of your video? I don't really have my family. My sister, she doesn't really like to do all that camera on camera stuff. You know, if she wants to come one day, then I will let her. But I don't know. She ain't really with it. Um, 
My mom, she probably would come. I think I would. I think you guys would like her. She's a funny lady, and she got a strong accent. So I might have her come on. Maybe we'll do a mommy tag or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. 2015 gonna be a whole brand new thing. You know, it's, but I don't. I don't wait for a new year to start new things. So it's like whatever. Um, friends, I don't really have many friends. My cousin has been one. She wants to come on this channel and do some talking, but she's usually at her house. And, um, if she wants to ever come over, she's more than welcome to, and we can talk and do stuff. Um, and I, like I said, I don't really have any other friends like that. One of my homegirls, she might come on one of these days, but it's whatever. If it, if it just comes, it comes. I'm not gonna force nobody, I'm not gonna push nobody, because, yeah, it's just no reason to. Besides making memories, what do you want video um, viewers to get from your videos? And I've kind of already said that, just to kind of inspire and hopefully someone can take something out of not just the entertainment. You know, I want to entertain, but I also want to inspire. That's one of my biggest things. And I hope that you guys can see past, you know, just the basic recaps and reality show things. Because a lot of times I incorporate things that have happened or occurred in my life into these recaps as well if you listen to the whole entire thing not always but if i see that it's relatable then i definitely do that um what tips for future vloggers what tips for future vloggers i just say to network um don't do it just for the money because then once if anything bad happens like what happened with me then you ain't gonna wanna come back. You gonna be like F it, you know? Cause now you gotta start from the bottom. I don't see any money. There's no money coming in right now for maybe a few months, depending on how well these videos do. There's not gonna be anything. Zero point zero dollars. Cause you have to the way you get paid is you get paid per a thousand views. My videos aren't ranking a thousand, so yeah, it's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, definitely do it for the joy, do it for the love, for the love of watching or doing whatever it is that you enjoy doing. Um, don't do it as a get-rich-quick scheme. Uh, don't focus so much about the viewers. Um, definitely promote yourself, promote your videos because you can't rely on everybody else to do it for you. I've invested in technology that I can promote myself, you know, I mean, um, software that I can promote myself super easy had to pay money for that nothing that goes against any copyright or anything else community nothing um just basically and i have lots i think i have like 30 different social networks where i can promote myself so it's a it's a lot of different ways that you can promote yourself and talk to other people that do the same types of things you do collaborations is another big thing um yeah things like that and don't spam people, please. I, I try my best not to spam. I think when I was a younger vlogger, I might have said, like, oh, you know, I do these same types of videos. But now that I've gotten bigger in the game and I've seen it, I don't, it's, it's not a good look. It just makes you look thirsty. It makes you look like you're begging people. And it gets under the skin of the person who is reading it. Because remember, these are real people, not celebrities. So they read your comic, they see the face, they see the name connected to it. And it just makes them have a bad taste of you. So definitely, the best thing to do would be to talk to people, engage in the community and things like that. And don't beg anybody or inbox them, oh, like, subscribe to your channel. And be honest. A lot of people, they say, oh, I subscribe to your channel. Can you subscribe to me? Especially in the beauty community, they, they do that a lot. Because I think they have some automated system or something. And it's at the end of the day, you're spamming people. I market it spam, and I just, that's it. Like, you ain't going to be, nah, you know. Um... How do you feel about, no, no, wrong side. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm so happy I still have this. And I usually throw away stuff like this. Um, if you could vlog, no. Craziest thing you ever vlogged, I don't know. I think me singing Ariel, and that's on my other channel, my beauty channel, I was singing. Um, there was another thing that I was dancing. I, I do all kind of stupid stuff. It just depends on how I feel. Oh, matter of fact, one of the craziest things is this, um... Uh, what's the name of the movie? It was a monologue I just recently did where I was like screaming and moaning. It's on my Some More Love drama channel. The link is Some More Love Unchained, which is super long. It's like, oh, uh, like I just look crazy, but it was actually a scene from the movie. And I'm going to be doing another monologue maybe today. Let's just see. But my throat is kind of effed up, so I don't know if I really want to do it today. So um, if you could vlog anywhere in the world, where would it be? 
Um, perhaps Paris. You know, that would be a, a, an awesome place. Or maybe go back to my homeland, which is Montserrat. Um, that's something I would like to do. Or England. That's also my homeland as well because I'm British. Uh, that would be a great place to vlog. Uh, you know, right by the, the, the palace or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know, but I can't travel, so those dreams are gone for right now, at least. And, um... So, I don't know, hopefully 2015 I'll be able to do some vacationing here in the United States. I'm going to be working towards doing stuff like that. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> if I do, I definitely will try to vlog. So, maybe like Florida, Disney World or something like that. Maybe I'll be able to do that. Oh, I have so much oh, nastiness back there. I'm trying to hurry up and do the rest of this. What vloggers do you look up to? I don't really look up to anyone uh, I just am inspired by certain people, certain people that inspire me, and I've said this before, and I don't mind saying it again, are people, like, and I actually want to add Mike B, because Mike, he's definitely the on his ish, he's very consistent with his work, and he supported me from, from, like, the beginning, he's given me shout outs, he's subscribed to my new channels, he was one of the first, I don't think a lot of the other YouTubers, they know that my channel has been, like, gone, you know, and, um, I just recently contacted a lot of them to let them know, so, you know, you can definitely spread the word, guys. Um, who else? Uh, I would say Ashley Miller, because something similar happened to her, where her channel was, like, completely gone one day, and she, she came back, came back strong, and she's back to, like, 17,000 subscribers within a couple of months, so, definitely, and she's always on it, like, you... It's like, it has to be something like a power outage or something where she's at a Beyonce concert for her not to have her video up like shortly after it came on TV. That's one of the people that definitely inspired me to just be on it and be consistent. Like I've seen her and I just was like, you know what, this is, this is what I want to do. Like, you know what, I want to be like her, <laughs> you know, because I just feel like she's super consistent with it. And I'm one of those, I've always been that way. Like I've always been a consistent person. So... And that just inspires me so much to see her not give up and show that she loves doing this. And this is something that she's going to not let anyone ever take away from her. All right. Um, who else? Uh, oh, the ghetto view. Got to always say my girl, the ghetto view, because damn, I forgot her name, too. She she told me her, she said her name, too. Is it Kim? No, I don't know. I'm not going to say the wrong name. Well, y'all know who I'm talking about. She is always on it, regardless of how she's feeling. She will come on here and she will continue to do her thing from like, and I've said this before, like in the hospital bed, she will come on here, she'll do her thing. <coughs> she just had surgery, she'll come on here. She keeps us updated on social media. So definitely somebody that inspires me, even if I have a little cold, if I have a, a headache or whatever, I still come on here because I'm just like, you know what? It's nothing. Like, this woman has gone through so much, and she's still persevering. She's still making sure that she's always here for her viewers, her subscribers. So, definitely love that. That's another person that inspires me. And, um, Liama, that's pretty much the list for right now. Um, uh, oh, and For It's Rocks is another person I've seen, you know, be very consistent with her work and the way she talks to people as well. That's another person. Uh, who does your editing? I do my own editing. Do you add any special sounds? I don't add anything anymore, really. Like, I used to add a little something here, like a little intro. Now I really don't add much of anything. I just try to upload it as quickly as possible. How long does it take you to edit? Um, uh, right now it only takes me, like, a couple of minutes to put everything together. Sometimes I'll use iMovie if it's a long video to compress it, and then I'll shoot it up into... The what you call it into YouTube, but YouTube uploading if my Wi Fi is slow, that can take the longest, that can take like hours like, literally, hours. I'll, I'll go to sleep at 2 a.m., wake up at 6 a.m., and that's when my video goes out because I've already put in all the description information and um, I've looked up a photo before I went to sleep that I'm gonna use as my thumbnail, and then in the morning I'll put it up. So I don't really know, it usually goes up. If I put it on two, I usually see an email that says it's ready to go at around four o'clock. So it could take one, two hours. Sometimes it'll be just like that. I guess that's when, like, I don't know, cable vision will be up on it. So um, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's my vlogger chat for, like, the third time. All right, guys, be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.